The Upstate Spartans survive a feverish fourth period run from the Western Carolina Catamounts to hold on for a 68-59 victory led by Brittany Starling who has her sixth consecutive double-double to lead the way. They end up with a number of players in double figures, Tom. It was a true team performance, but really in reality, what happened is they survived in the end. Western Carolina gave them all they could well, have. Well, they did. Four in double figures. Got off to a 10-0 start. Tamara Thorpe got the start at a three, a three-point play. And then all of a sudden, it's a two-point game at halftime, a 15-2 run to start the third quarter play. And then, tell you what, Western Carolina wouldn't go away. They got strong play inside, a couple of outside jumpers to get within four twice. But then two huge threes, Haddock and Clincy, hit those four upstate to kind of widen it out there at the end, 68-59. Let's take a look back at the highlights so you can see for yourself just what a factor Starling and Thorpe, who Tom mentioned, among others, were for the Upstate Spartans. It ends up being those two, along with Haddock and Dickerson, who score double figures in the game. Yeah, you get a look at, at Ace Easter, who started things off there. She had 13 first half, did not score in the second half. And, you know, we talked about the Western Carolina being down 10-0 and then got back into the ball game. And, mid-range jumper there and, and we saw a number of different players there's easter again but i think one of the keys was she had three of three from three-point range first half didn't score in the second half and then inside mac was a strong player as well as she got in the bonner had a double double 13 points 13 rebounds sheree bonner so i think given that circumstance with western carolina the way they were down big twice to get back in it Gave him a real shot, but the bottom line was Upstate was able to win it. Here's a look at the game summary. One thing you won't see here, points in the paint, a graphic they showed us throughout the broadcast, ended up being a 38-12 advantage for Upstate inside the paint for Pater. Well, they did that, and then they were able to turn it over as well and uh, turn Western Carolina over with 22 turnovers, and 13 of those were steals. We talked about how good they've been against Morgan and against Mars Hill as well. I think as you get into Southern Conference play, that's going to be one of the keys, the ability to do that in conference play. We were tied three separate times and in the end the Spartans with a 68-59 win over the Western Carolina Catamounts as the A Sun takes this one in the battle of A Sun Southern Conference games that were taking place on this day. Next time we will be with you for a doubleheader. Men and women will be on the 23rd. Make plans to join us for ESPN3 on that day. For Tom Van Hoy, everybody on the ESPN3 crew, upstate a winner. They'll carry that victory and the momentum of it into conference play, which is right around the corner.